Welcome to an overview of the OpenManage integration for VMware vCenter. In this video I'll be demonstrating a few of the key features in our integration using the VMware vSphere web client. As you can see after the integration is installed an OpenManage integration icon appears. Upon clicking on that icon a high-level overview of the product including things around monitoring, managing, licensing, and where we can get additional help and support uh, appears. The bulk of the integration comes from both, both hosts and cluster level details. As I choose the host in uh, cluster number one, we've integrated into a couple key spots. Under the Summary tab, we've added two brand new Dell portlets. These two portlets supplement the information VMware is already providing uh, to enable a full view of the Dell host. As you see, the Dell host information is real-time health related to the PowerEdge server. In this case, it's the 16, 610 R610. In addition, we show information on the host relative to the service tag, hypervisor and firmware information, and other details. In addition to this high-level information, we show rich level of detail in regards to inventory and that individual host. With this inventory, we show such information as the field replacement units. So if you wanted to replace memory, you would know exactly what manufacturer and the serial number and even the manufacturer date. We show details on processors for that host, including the number of cores, power supplies within that host, memory installed in that host, and the additional details we show is the number of available slots in that memory in addition to the maximum memory that can be installed in that system. We show details on all the NICs, PCI slots, including the number of available PCI slots, and information in regards to our iDRAC with Lifecycle Controller card, including the ability to link and launch right to that user interface. We show details in regards to storage attached to the host. As I click on the firmware tab on the left, we real-time go out and grab firmware information from the Dell host. From this page here, you can run an individual firmware update on one host, uh, and you can see details related to what versions of firmware is installed on that system. We also have details on power monitoring, including instant and peak time usage, and, and warning and thresholds in which we throw our alarms. And then finally, we have details on warranty information relative to that host. As I return to the home page, we have details related to some further integration that Dell's done in regards to clusters. As you see here on the left, I, left I've selected cluster number one. Under the Dell cluster information tab, we have some rolled up information relative to those Dell's hosts. In this scenario, we see that there are a couple Dell managed hosts. Uh, 504 kilowatts of energy consumed, a total number of roll-up processors, and uh, an instant snapshot of warranty status. You also notice as you select an individual host, more details relative to that host do appear. Just like with the prior host overview, in the cluster overview, we provide roll-up information relative to inventory. Again, we have we indicate the field replacement units, the processors, memory, NICs, PCI slots, things of that nature. A couple of the interesting things to show are around how we can uh, export and create reports. So in this scenario, uh, I've selected firmware, and in firmware shows all the details relative to the firmware pieces uh, of all the boxes in that cluster. In this scenario, it's just two here. So we see that there's two versions of BIOS, 6.1 and 6.3. Uh, 
If I wanted to export that information and use that later, I'd be able to do that here. As I'm in the firmware uh, section, I'm allowed to do a firmware update wizard. Uh, this firmware update wizard allows uh, you to update firmware at a cluster level without ever having to leave vCenter. It's a quick five-step wizard uh, that allows you to uh, update that firmware in a quick uh, manner. We select the bundle in which our updates are uh, inside. We then select the particular firmware versions that we'd like to see updated. In this case, we have Broadcom. We can also do a filter so we can just see the Broadcom information. We also allow a allow downgrade of firmware in this scenario. After that, you go ahead and give it a firmware update uh, job name, and you can decide to update now or schedule it in the future. Once that schedule is done, you have a summary page in which it uh, identifies the things you'll be updating. And as you click Finish, you indicate that the job, in fact, has been scheduled. Thank you very much for viewing this overview of the brand new Open Manage integration for VMware vCenter version 2.0.